Well, it's time to put on my tidying gloves and show you how we're going to tidy up some tech today. Well, if you have gone the Mary Kondo way with other things in your house like clothes and everything else, it's why not do it to your phone. So I'm going to show you how to declutter your phone today. And of course, I'm not just talking about cleaning the phone from outside, but actually what's on the inside. What we're going to start with is something very simple, actually how to organize your apps and get rid of apps that you don't use at all. And I'm going to do this with you guys, so let's get started. Phones can get cluttered and messy with apps and even notifications. Gosh, just my notifications make me feel uneasy. It also might be hard sometimes to find the right app at the right time. Well, my first tip is to get rid of anything that doesn't spark joy. And so that goes for apps as well. If you are not using it, you do not need it. Browse through all your apps and see which ones are taking up the most storage and you can do it that way. Or simply review apps you don't really use and just press delete. This goes for Android or iPhones. And in terms of organization, the apps used most frequently should be on the main screen of your phone. I have kept my most used apps right here. Mail, Messages and WhatsApp. Push the rest to the next few pages. You can color sort apps since our mind goes to the color of the app we have to open or you can categorize them into their utility. Like these food apps all belong together. Or these multiple photo editing apps can be grouped into one. Having less visual clutter on your smartphone is a subtle but effective way of reducing visual overload. And if you're a bit strapped with phone storage and you don't really want to delete an app as such, iPhones give you the option to offload them. This deletes the app but not all of the data and you can easily install the app again. Android phones gives you the option to clear out cache. Tap clear storage and clear cache for any apps that are using a lot of space. See now that wasn't too hard was it? Now some social media apps have been linked to inciting anxiety in a few people. And come on, who likes it when you're at a dinner table and everyone around you is texting? So let's take stock of that situation and set screen time. Well, it's very simple, you can do it through your phone settings as well, but also through individual social media app settings. How? Well, I'll just show you. If social media notifications and everything about it seem just too much to handle, simply switch on screen time. This can be done on Android phones that have Android 9 running on them with digital well-being and through Apple's screen time. Set screen time for social media apps. This locks the app once you reach the limit, thus limiting your use. Yes, if it's important, you can log back in for 15 minutes as well. But not just through the settings of your phone, some social media apps now have this in their own settings as well. Now one place I guarantee on your phone is a complete mess and doesn't spark as much joy probably is your camera roll. But it's very simple actually to declutter your camera roll. Now don't worry, I'm not going to recommend a third party app because that would defeat the purpose that I started off with which was to declutter your phone itself. But I'm going to do it the very basic way and my phone really needs some decluttering. So let's do it together. Selfies, screenshots and some unnecessary pictures. We are all guilty of hoarding up on images making our camera roll the most cluttered place on our phones. Well, it's time to press delete and take stock of our images. Back up images to the cloud or your computer or simply get to organizing them. Your phone is pretty smart. Make use of the AI that's then most of our smartphones which can categorize images into place, people and things. Make albums for different events and delete irrelevant images on a regular basis. On iPhones, you can even categorize images according to the person as the AI recognizes faces. All my dog's pictures, for example, are in one place, making it easier for me to find one when I need it. But not just images, I would also suggest you do this to your contacts as well. Eliminate anyone you don't remember and any other contacts you don't need. Be sure to merge contacts when you have a person's information more than once. Take up one alphabet a day to make this process less daunting. And my final tip, streamline your to-do list. Make sure you're not repeating reminders in your notes, calendar and reminders app. Use one app and stick to it. And now you're all set. Well, you can do this even for your tablet or your computer. And my Mary Kondo-esque tip here would be that you keep your home screen real clutter-free. How do you do that? I would say minimize your notifications, keep the ones that you really need and switch off the ones that you don't need from the settings of your phone. And remember, the idea behind tech is to make you smarter, so don't let it weigh you down. 